Imagine your users getting real-time search results as they type with irrelevant items subtly blurred out. Sounds amazing, right? Well, that can be done in just a few steps. Whether you are searching through categories or looking for specific items, this widget keeps your focus on what truly matters, making your site more efficient and user-friendly. So let's get started with the tutorial. The widget we will be using here is offered by W Design Kit. Speaking in terms of figures, it includes over 2000 pre-designed templates and 100 plus pre-built widgets for Elementor, Gutenberg and Bricks, along with a cloud workspace and much more. We will discuss about more of its features in detail soon, so make sure you watch this video till the very end. Now let's start with the tutorial. Make sure you have installed Elementor. And we will also need W Design Kit, so come up here and click Add New Plugin. Then search for it. And here it is, W Design Kit. Simply click on Install Now. Then Activate. Moving ahead to Appearance. And here, as you can notice, I'm using Next a theme. However, feel free to use any other theme as per your preference. Now, in order to use this plugin, we will need to make an account with W Design Kit. Simply come here and click on W Design Kit. Next, up here in the header section, click on Login. At the bottom here, it's written don't have an account, click Sign Up. Now this web page will open up where it's visible that you can sign up with your socials or here after you fill all the details mentioned, simply click on this button. I already have an account so I'll simply click Sign In. And then I will click on Continue with Google. Once you're logged in, it's time to activate our widget. So come up here in the header section and click on Browse Widgets. Here it is, inline Ajax search bar. Simply download it by clicking on this icon. Now let's make sure it's downloaded by going into the My Widget section. Perfect. Now opening the Elementor editor, here's my page where I have already imported the widget. If you want to do the same, simply search inline Ajax search, then drag and drop it inside the workspace. For now, let's just select the widget from the navigator. And under the content tab in here, you will get to see various customization options. It's time to show how exactly you can enable that blur effect. So for that, open this connection drop down menu and here you will find two input fields that are for connection ID and target class name. Now the container you are watching here at the bottom contains the list of words that we need to put the effect on. So in order to do that, simply select the whole container, then go to advanced. Scroll down a bit and here in the CSS ID input field, type anything, say health. Now this word here is our connection ID. Simply copy this text and paste it inside the connection ID text field present here in the Ajax search bars customization options. Next, it's time to get our target class name. So for that, you have to right click on the canvas, then click inspect. Now we know that we want to apply the effect on the texts present inside this container. So only to inform you, all the text in here will have the same division class code which is very important for us to know as it is what we require to put inside this target class field. So in order to know what it is, simply focus your attention here at the top left corner of this window. Next select any text from within this container. And here as you can notice within this code line, we got our division class code. Simply copy it, then paste it in the target class input field. That's done. Now I know that this part of the video is a bit complex, so I recommend you to watch this process again so that you could understand it fully. It's time to update this Elementor page and let's see if it's working perfectly in the front end. Now don't forget to explore other amazing features W Design Kit offers. It provides various design assets and resources to create amazing WordPress websites in a matter of minutes. With its 2000 plus page templates, sections and kits, you can import pre-made WordPress websites. It comes with its own power widget builder using which you can convert any custom code to Elementor widget, blocks or bricks elements. And not only that, as we shared earlier, it has its own 100 plus growing collection of pre-made widgets for Elementor, Gutenberg and bricks. 
Using W Design Kit Page Builder Converter, you can convert your Elementor widget to Gutenberg blocks and even bricks elements. Amazing, right? Lastly, for all the power WordPress users who create multiple websites, W Design Kit also comes with its cloud workspace, where you can store your created widgets and page sections on the cloud and import on any other website, as well as collaborate with your team members. To be honest, you can say me delusional, but W Design Kit is the tool which can increase your productivity by 100%. It comes with both free and pro plan. You can check all the details from this pricing page and choose the plan which suits your need. Hope you liked the video. Now, if you're curious, do check out our next video that is on blurred text reveal, where I will show you how you can blur any text and reveal it on user interactions like hovering over. Also drop a like and subscribe to the channel with the bell icon turned on so that you do not miss such interesting videos coming ahead inside our W Design Kit playlist. Till then, keep learning and stay curious.